Last Sunday at the Bristol Dirt Race, Tyler Reddick started in 6th place. Tyler Reddick would stay out after the second break. He would hang out around the front for the rest of the race. Tyler Reddick would end up finishing 2nd place. Here's what Reddick said about the finish. I was, uh, it was a lot of fun, honestly. Really intense. Um, yeah, towards the end there, definitely feel like I, I found a little bit more. I thought I had at the edge, but I wasn't quite uh, there in the last couple laps. Definitely found it. Um, just, just hate it for everybody on the Sirius XM, Toyota Camry TRD. Um, just, just needed to be a little bit closer uh, than I was. I think with two to go, it would have been really bold to try and make that move work. Um, obviously, on the white flag coming into three and four, I was going to see. But, uh, yeah, we'll never know if it worked. But uh, still a good rebound for us. We definitely thought the track was going to take a different direction than it did as the race unfolded. So, uh, you know, just as it turned out, our strategy wasn't the best. But, uh, well, that was on me. Brad Keselowski did not have a good race at Bristol Dirt. He ended up finishing 17th place. Brad has had a decent season so far. He is currently 12th in the point standings. His next race is at Martinsville Speedway on Sunday. The race starts at 3 p.m. Eastern Time and will be broadcast on Fox. In 2007, at a test session at Daytona, Eric Almirola was driving an Xfinity Series car for Joe Gibbs Racing. He made contact with another car and Almirola's car was sent airborne. The car was slide on through for a period of time before hitting the grass, which rolled the car once more. Almirola's car would lie upside down when it came to rest. Eric Almirola would be fine. Matt Kenseth has won 29 times in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. His last win would come in the 2014 Xfinity Series finale at Homestead Miami Speedway. Matt Kenseth was not the dominant driver of the day. But late in the race, he was able to get the lead and compete for the win. After a couple of late race cautions, Matt Kenseth would pass and hold off Kyle Larson for what would be his final NASCAR Xfinity Series win. Last Sunday at the Bristol Dirt Race, the 2015 Xfinity Series champion Chris Buescher finished in 18th place. Chris Buescher has been having a decent season so far. Within the first races, Chris has had one top 5 and two top 10s. He is currently in 16th place in the point standings and is hanging on to a playoff spot. Last week at the Bristol Dirt Race, Harrison Burton finished in 15th place. Burton has been underwhelming in the Cup Series this season. His best finish has been 15th place at Bristol Dirt and Auto Club. Burton has only had one top five and two top tens in his career so far. Hopefully you can turn around things and do better. In 1993, Matt Kenseth would have a son named Ross Kenseth. Fast forward to 2013 to 2015, Ross Kenseth would make select starts in ARCA, Trucks, and Xfinity. His highlight would be winning the 2015 ARCA race in Michigan. Kenseth had led early in the race before falling a little bit. He would regain the lead by passing Grant in finger. Kenseth would never win again in the Arca Bernard series after winning. For the All-Star race at North Wilkesboro in May, Kevin Harvick will run a special throwback paint scheme. Harvick will run the 29 car which is a throwback to his paint scheme he ran in 2001 in the Cup Series after replacing Dale Earnhardt. As was announced earlier in the year, this is Harvick's last full-time season. This is really cool. Thanks for watching.